G'day guys, Troy K here. Welcome to another episode of K Brothers Pythons. We're in the double digits now with our YouTube adventure, so we thought we'd do a quick update on, on where we're actually at, where Dan and myself are at, you know, what changes we've made over the past couple of months, and, and just give you guys a bit of a look at, at what's going on. So I'm going to throw it over to Dan, he's going to do a quick lap around the Blackhead breeding room, and, um, and we'll see how it goes. Thanks for that uh, inspiring intro, Troy. Um, what's changed over the last few months? Well, it's breeding time now, so we've got blackheaded pythons all paired up here. So anything with a chocolate on it, it's got uh, animals paired behind it. We've, um, we've got a bit of ducting here through there. I'll put some ducking in here. Um, you can feel the air coming through there a little bit. I'll explain a bit more about this ducting in a minute. Uh, more animals paired, nice blackhead. Have a look at this one, Troy. Nice black, oh, blackheaded no, pythons. That's hot, man. You see a bit of mist in there. We just, um, regardless of the season, it's always good to go through and give the animal a bit of a, a, bit of a spray. Um, we've got, uh, this is where we do our editing guys, um, we've, as you can see before here, we've lined, I've lined, gone through and lined all these roofs, uh, all these, um, all these walls, so it's all insulated behind there. Oh, roof tolling days coming yeah, out. Yeah, for sure. This is, uh, this is where we edit, as I said. Yeah, uh, stop, stop, stop. Oh, uh, inappropriate. There's always, yeah, some sort of, there's always some sort of inappropriate <laughs> music going on in the background, but it, it yeah, no, it's, it's a good stimulant, you know. Yeah, yeah. NWI, yeah, That's yeah. right, it gets the yeah. bucket juices flowing. Um, here's a new rack, we've put this in just recently. Um, two new animals actually. We've got um, a couple of little Lexanthics. This is a little Lexanthic male that was bred by Mick Austin. Awesome little thing. So these things have just come out of quarantine, what, three weeks ago? Three, three weeks, weeks ago, ago, two weeks ago actually. Two weeks um, ago. That, this is uh, Rob Sullivan, this is from his uh, um, Lexanthics that have got um, a little bit of poor. I go through them maybe, time will tell, you know. Yeah, yeah, I remember seeing footage of um, pigs when they're hatches, a bit yeah, of red. Yeah, yeah, so that's the one of Rob's, so nice on the animal. Um, think about it here, obviously, that'll start filling up in about three or four months. He's open, man. He's open. Um, this is uh, what the ducting was for, guys. Um, we learnt this trick uh, when Troy used to breed rats. We had an enclosed rat room and it was air And uh, the problem was it was just almost rancid to walk in, you know, if you didn't have the ducking because uh, animals in an enclosed area, you need to duck the area. This is used sort of for that reason, but more so for night time. Black and pythons are such a heavy body animal, you like to cool them quickly at night. And in an enclosed insulated room, it's hard to get that temperature down without any windows, obviously. So uh, the air ducting in each corner, one in that corner, one in that corner, four o'clock in the afternoon, the timer goes on, and um, all the air gets sucked out of the room. All the cold air gets sucked through the room, sorry. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that's an update, guys. We'll go through and uh, check out some of Troy's updates. So as we said in episode one, we we're going to show you guys as as we expanded, as we grew, we we're going to bring you guys along to show you guys. We said that yeah, that we had a couple of racks, and we we're going to get a couple more. Well, here it is, a couple of months later. It's not super massive, super you know huge, anything like that. You got to remember, you know, we're just a couple of guys in Oz doing our thing. But you know, you can see, bam, bam. Well, a couple of extra racks have gone in, so future plans, hopefully we get a few more clutches this year um, and fill up with another two, three uh, hatchling racks in here if possible. So these were all made up by a good friend of ours over at uh, D&D Reptile and Racks. So and they fit, you know, see fit 70 hatches per, per rack, so they're wizard little racks. Um, I can't it's, believe you pulled that wizard in. You had to get it in. Man, yeah, wizard's coming <laughs> back, hey. I'll bring you wizard back. Keep pushing it, mate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, back in episode one, we were showing you guys a little hatchy, so um, we may as well get it out and show you again. Show you what it's looking like this, these days. She's and there flash. you go, guys. Is that a girl? Holy nah, a little male. So I think you can see why we were so excited back then about hatching this little critter out. Absolutely gorgeous little animal. Stunning snake, isn't it? It is, man. Very, very excited about this animal. So, anyway, we'll get it back and we'll move on to the next one. There you go, buddy. Big plans for you. So we're in our breeding room, guys. Um, not too much has changed in here. The only real thing, we've got this five, uh, five bank of six footers. Uh, got that knocked up by a mate of ours, so, uh, just for a couple of overflow blackheaded pythons. But then had over his way, so uh, 
Yeah, yeah thanks for the extra work, man. <laughs> Enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> While we're in here, uh, it's not new. It's something that Denver put into the room when, when he actually built this room four, five, six years ago. That's these things straight up. So what we've got here is extrusion fans placed in here and here. And what we do during the winter is we actually kick these things in the um, we kick these things in during the night time uh, for the same reason that Dem was explaining over his way. It just helps to uh, you know, help drag the cold air into the room, so it just helps with breeding. We'll go and we'll check out the quarantine room. The the one thing that Den and I have been spending a bit of time on over the past couple of months. Let's go check it out. So this is it, our beloved quarantine room. So it's still a work in progress. Everything's a work in progress, mate. Including the hatchy rack that we started 17 years ago. Was, give yeah, us time, give us time. Yeah, we'll finish it, I promise. Anyway, the reason that we've gone through and actually built uh, a quarantine room, usually we'd, you know, if we'd um, got a new animal in, it'd just be stuck in a spare bedroom for, you know, for a couple of weeks, you'd give it a white spray. Things are starting to get a bit scary out there, so we thought, right, let's build a proper actual quarantine room. Reason for this big thing behind me, you can see, is again, same as Dan's, it's a big ducting system, helps with the airflow, but mainly the big filter, get rid of the smell of these big buggers. Hey, check them out, more olives. <laughs> Enjoy cleaning them, buddy. <laughs> um, so what we've got going on there, we've got a big share breeding project going on with a very good friend of ours. Um, and that's what we thought, let's build a whole room, just not just for these critters, but like, we want to have a crack at breeding them, but we had some other animals come in as well, so as you can see, a few more critters down there. Uh, there's an animal that we produced a couple of years ago that, um, that we sent out to a mate. It's absolutely cracking looking animal, we wanted to get it back, we've um, got a bit of an idea on how we can make some even better looking hatchies, hit the mate up, yeah, can we have a crack, yep, yep, so sweet. A <laughs> um, couple other animals that were brought in from a very well known, very well respected breeder here in Australia and that's Wayne Larks. And you can see why. That is a little ghost or a hypoaxianthic. Get him out mate. And um, come here buddy. Let's get you under some lights. And you can see that animal there, be like, oh, gorgeous. Pretty. Thank you so much, Wayne, for um, yeah, for letting us have a play with these mutations. Cannot wait to, to see what happens with these axanthics with some of the lines we got cracking. Gee, they're old tubs, aren't they? They've seen a few. Mate, they live with the rack. <laughs> yeah, <that's true. laughs> um, again, another little axanthic female um, produced by Wayne. Uh, you guys remember back, when did we go and visit Nev? Episode oh, seven, six, I think. Seven. I think seven. I was just editing before. I think it was seven. So we went through, we picked up some little Zebs. Hey, there was one of the... That was nice. The gorgeous little thing. Um, next animal. Don't know what to say about it, so I'm just going to show you. <laughs> um, bam. So all I can say is, you know, Awesome looking animal, looks like a new yeah, a new little hypo mutation to play with. Uh, we are not the breeders of, of this animal. Uh, I just, yeah, the hell that get him out, show him off. Why not, <laughs> hey. Alright guys, so that's um that's our, our quarantine room in in making. So we'll get it finished before the rack, I can guarantee that. And uh, and yeah, as as always, thanks for watching guys. And uh, if, if you enjoyed it, leave a comment down below. See you. back on episode one, episode six. You enjoy it? Yeah, I enjoyed the day, yeah. Remember episode three, man, when we first got the shirts? I do, I remember you were fairly excited about those shirts. Yeah. First off, check this out. K Brothers Pythons. How professional does this look? I must have come off looking like a complete idiot, hey? That'll never happen again, though, will it? No. How <sighs> yeah, pimp are these new jackets? When do I get pink? Oh. <laughs>